Hi friends, welcome again to another session. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate one of the common representation, which is bridge presentation. But this bridge presentation, I'm going to demonstrate bridge delivered with extended head. Bridge means the feet or buttock being presented part at the lower core of the uterus. And this brings more dangers or risk of the babe to be born. Therefore, the common features presented with this manipresentation is lie is longitudinal, attitude is complete flexion of the head, presenting part is the left or light buttock, the presenting diameter is the vitro canteric diameter which measures 10 centimeter and the denominator is the sacrum therefore in this video I'm going to demonstrate the right sacro anterior right sacro anterior means the denominator of sacrum point to the right iliopectineal eminence Descent express with good contraction where the fetus being engaged at the pelvic floor, where the denominator sacrum being at the right iliopectineal eminence. Therefore, internal rotation of the buttocks. Buttocks rotate or anterior buttocks rotate one eighth of a circle to lie underneath the symphysis pubis. And this is internal rotation of the buttocks. Lateral flexion. As a good uterine contraction occurs, the anterior buttocks escape under the symphysis pubis while the posterior buttock sweeps the perineum. And where this is the lateral flexion, where the babe being born by lateral flexion. Restitution. The fetal buttock restored to where or to points where it is was started before. And this brings the shoulder to be at the oblique diameter, which is right oblique diameter of the maternal pelvis. Internal rotation of the shoulder. The shoulder rotates one eighth of a circle from right oblique diameter of the maternal pelvis to right underneath the symphysis pubis. This brings all shoulders at the anterior posterior diameter of the maternal pelvis, where the anterior shoulder escape under the symphysis pubis while the posterior shoulder sweeps the perineum. And this movement brings the head to be into the pelvis for while the sagittal suture is at transverse diameter. Internal rotation of the head. Head rotate one eighth of a circle to lie underneath the symphysis pubis. This brings the babe to pivot and the pubic bone. And because I'm saying I'm going to demonstrate the mechanism of bridge with extended head. Here the midwife has the responsibility to know either the head of the fetus is being extended. Therefore, the midwife apply the so-called Mauritius Smelveit maneuver to aid the delivery of the baby. Internal rotation of the head brings the sagittal suture to be at anterior posterior diameter of the maternal pelvis. The midwife should consider the head is extended if the nape of the neck or hairline region or the, the suboccipital region below the occiput is not seen. The midwife should use the so-called Mauritius Smelvate maneuver to deliver the baby, where the midwife should use his or her non-dominant hand to support motor bone 
ready for delivery. This brings to prevent the injury at the submandibular region. This maneuver helps to the midwife to increase the flexion of the fetal head. And this brings the baby to be delivered at flexed position, where the chin face and the sinsput sweeps the perineum and the last three the oxput bone. This is birth of the babe towards mother's abdomen. Thank you for watching this video. That is the end of the presentation. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and put your comment for more videos. Thank you.